this guy. Kevin, how's that lecture working? One, do it! Oh, God! Oh, 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 on the count of three. Oh, everybody okay. cheer. Awesome. Cheer. One, two, three. Go! Oh, oh, get out of the way! Get out of the way! Oh, God. Come on, pony. Go! One, two, three. Go! Holy oh, God! You know, we had a stock tank full of pulp. I mean, it couldn't have been it couldn't have been better. Now, what was the record time of this year's International Eel Pop Festival? It was a smoker. He had four seconds and six and nine one hundredths. The record today was broke like four or five different times. There were some awful fast pulps out there today. And they thought some of the pulps maybe we're gonna check a couple of them for steroids. <laughs> they thought maybe a couple were, were pumped up a little bit, you know, but you know, for the most part it was a good night. No one was bobbing today, though, so we didn't have any bo any pump bobbers. But a lot of women racing and kids today, all over. <laughs> and, uh, what started out as a kind of a joke celebration of winter for the area, they were looking for something to do in the winter time here in Waukee, Minnesota. And a couple entrepreneurs, Kenny Bresley and a few others, sat down and decided that, hey, maybe we should celebrate the eel pout. And uh, it, it started with that, and it's grown into uh, an event that draws 20,000 people. The event actually starts early in the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, with these people arriving and setting up camp on the lake. And then uh, Fridays is when we actually kick the event off at noon, but you know they've got two days in already, and they're. Uh, ready to fish for eel pout, I guess. But uh, actually, we've done surveys, and 20% of the people fish, the other 80% don't even win a line. So, I don't know, it's a combination fishing contest, celebration, winter event. And the community loves it because it brings people to town at a time when uh, there's not much going on. We have a saying that the eel pout is the world's only true game fish. And uh, we kind of joke about that because actually it's considered a rough fish in Minnesota. Uh, if you don't know what a pout looks like, it kind of has the head of a catfish and the tail of an eel. Uh, they're mottled brown and, you know, quite honestly, people consider them an ugly fish. But we don't. We celebrate the eel pout. The biggest pout ever caught at eel pout was just over 15 pounds and our state record is just over 18 pounds. So Leech Lake produces some nice eel pout. Alright, some of the events that we have uh, in conjunction with the Eel Pout Festival, we have the On Ice Auto Race. It's actually a quarter mile lap track, and it's for real. They race up to 80 miles an hour, and I've seen the cars flip over. They've actually ridden in there, and it's quite fun, quite spectacular to watch. Um, we had the Bikini Fashion Show Review this year, which uh, is the second time we did the event, and it was more successful than ever. Uh, we cheat a little bit and have it inside a heated tent, but it's still in the middle of winter and it's still on the lake, so it's kind of a neat deal. Um, the race your pout is as popular as ever. We cut a track in the ice and we time these pout on a, I think it's a 10 foot sprint. And uh, I, I'm not sure what the best time was, but man, they sure had a ball racing them, so it's another fun thing that goes on. Polar plunge. The polar plunge. Uh, I think it's the fifth year for that event and they raise money for the community center in town and you know every year they have hundreds of jumpers and they raise up to thirty thousand um, dollars. I don't know they cut a hole in the ice the water's what 32.5 degrees and these people strip down and jump in so it's uh, it's quite interesting to watch. I think there's more people that watch it than actually jump. So, How long have you been doing this? This is my seventh year doing the event and uh, you know, every year there's something new that comes up, and the people that come up here, uh, on the ice it's really kind of uncontrollable. Uh, we just kind of let go on out there what, what goes on, and these people really get creative. They build some awesome encampments. Some of the camps, some of the camps like the Beaver Lodge, it's a, a huge beaver lodge that you can actually walk into and, and I don't know, 
just sit and chat with the boys, have an adult beverage on the ice, whatever it is you want to do. Um, this year's rugby on ice was canceled due to a lack of snow on the ice, but we've done that I think four years in a row now. So uh, they, the Bemidji State Beavers have a rugby tournament and teams come from all over the state to participate in that. How thick is the ice out here? Uh, you know, early on in January, there was a little bit of concern because we had gotten about 12 inches of ice and a bunch of snow on top, which tends to insulate it. So when we get those below zero nights in January, it doesn't build the ice that we need. But fortunately, we had a January thaw. The snowpack melted down, um, and the ice thickness, th that cold could get to the ice, and we ended up with 30-plus inches. So it was uh, plenty of ice for all the weight that's out there. Oh, the opening ceremony, uh, the, the Walker Legion Color Guard comes down and they present the colors and we play the national anthem and this year we had the uh, MIA POW hot air balloon uh, here for that and we actually had the, uh, a skydiver drop out of the chopper and, and come in and uh, that was quite spectacular so it was, it was a fun opening event. Why do you do this? Why did why'd you get involved? Why did you um, take over? You know, we saw an opportunity to expand this thing it, it, in its heyday in the, in the early 90s is probably the peak. Uh, there was some downhill uh, slide and we thought we could come in and inject some new life into this thing and add some new events and, and get it back up to where it was and I, I think we've got it there or surpassed it. With the amount of people that come out here, uh, we got no way to count how many people are on the ice at any at any given year. but. Uh, the newspaper does a pretty good job of estimating, and I've seen estimates anywhere from 10 to 20,000 people. We're probably on the high end of that this year. So. Who started this? Uh, the gentleman's name was Ken Bresley, and uh, like I said before, he it was dreamed up one night, uh, probably over a few cocktails in the Walker Legion, and they scribbled up the concept on a bar napkin, and the rest is history, I guess.